to do for Mother's Day? Well, I say make something nice for her. If it was me, I would like chicken parmesan. So let's get to it. I have some nice boneless chicken breasts here and I have my wackaroonie and we're gonna flatten it out to about half an inch. I like to put it between cellophane on a nice hard surface, cellophane on top, and let's get to it. Ding dong easy was that. I have flattened out four chicken breasts here, each of them about hopefully half an inch. What we're going to do is I have so some panko breadcrumbs, flour and eggs. To the panko breadcrumbs, which is about a cup, I'm gonna add half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix that together. So the panko with the Parmesan cheese is gonna be the last thing I dip the chicken in. The flour is going to be the first, and what I'm going to do with the flour is add a little salt and pepper. Let's say about half a teaspoon of salt and a good amount of freshly ground pepper. Stir up the flour, and we are ready to dunkaroonie. One chicken breast. Just a very light dusting of the flour. Don't go overboard on that. Dipping it into the egg wash here. I like to keep one hand free just in case you need to do something with that hand. I'll bring it a little closer right into my panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to try to be quite generous with that. Even if you have to pound it down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, you can see how much I have there. Now set it on a grill a rack, something. We're going to let those sit for about 10 minutes. That allows the panko breadcrumbs to really adhere to the chicken. The chicken has been sitting for about 10 minutes and I have about one cup of olive oil and let's test to see if it's hot enough. Oh yes indeed, maybe even too hot. Let's turn that down to about a medium high and let's start putting in each of the chicken breasts. Don't overcrowd your pan. I'm gonna put two in at a time. I'm gonna cook them for two minutes on each side just to get them crispy. That's been about two minutes and that's about the crispiness that I like it. Two more minutes. There's the odd little piece of chicken that fell off and they make perfect chicken fingers. So mom can have your chicken parmesan and the rotten little kids can have the chicken fingers. All right, I've got them all in the pans here. Unfortunately, they were so large, I had to take out another little pan, but that's okay. Now I just have one can of regular tomato sauce with its own flavors. This one has herbs and basil. And just pour that right on top of your chicken. We'll come back and put more on. I just wanna make sure I have enough for all of them. Oh, that's great. Now let's do a little more. You can use provolone cheese. I'm using mozzarella today and I like cheese. So let's put three nice big wallops of mozzarella cheese on here. Yes, you can buy slices, you can buy it shredded, but I just do it like this. The Parmesan has been in the oven now for about 30 minutes. I think it's done. I wish I had put a lot more mozzarella on it, but you get the idea. Chicken Parmesan. I know it's a serving for four, but I guarantee you, you can take some back for lunch. Let's put some of this Parmesan crap on top. I had that in the oven all together, maybe 30 minutes. You can cook it longer if you want your mozzarella to be baked a little bit golden. Let's give this basil a little haircut, shall we? Let's put something pretty on the side for our presentation. And there you have it. Happy Mother's Day, Ma. Ooh, ooh, ooh.